A beaming queen has welcomed Liz Trust into a circle of trust, officially appointing her to the UK Prime Minister. But it was a stormy day for the new PM, complete with a drenched arrival at Downing Street and a possible coded warning from Boris Johnson that he will be back. Europe correspondent Lisa Raymer reports. And just like that, Queen Elizabeth wasn't the only leading Liz in town. With a handshake, Liz Truss was Prime Minister, having travelled to and through misty Scotland for the title, following for the last time the lead of Boris Johnson. It was Johnson who was first out of the blocks and out the famous black door in the Prime Minister relay race today. This is it, folks. Speaking of his future with characteristic colour. I am now like one of those booster rockets that has fulfilled its function and I will now be gently re-entering the atmosphere and splashing down invisibly in some remote and obscure corner of the Pacific. He compared himself to the Roman leader who left office only to be asked to return. Like Cincinnatus, I am returning to my plan. Hinting at a comeback before he even started his journey north to Scotland to formally, finally resign. The Queen's doorman kept busy at the revolving door of Balmoral. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Boris Johnson was in, and minutes later, he was out of the castle and a job. The baton passed to Liz Truss, who becomes the 15th Prime Minister to serve the Queen, although likely the first to have said on record that the monarchy should be abolished. Her parade back to London was rained on in typical British fashion. The most powerful men in the UK huddled under an umbrella, waiting to welcome the most powerful person to her new home. After months of political scandal and turmoil, the media circus here at Downing Street is a reflection of just how desperate everyone is to hear what plans the Prime Minister has for leading her party and the country into brighter days. I am confident that together we can ride out the storm. Fewer laughs than her predecessor was known to deliver from the podium, no flourishes or fancy metaphors. I am determined to deliver. Thank you. There's a new Prime Minister in the street and the party days are over. Well, Lisette joins us now. Kia ora, Lisette. Liz Truss has inherited a monumental crisis, so who's she chosen to help her fix it? Well, it is the Liz loyalists who are shot straight to those top spots, not quite the come-together cabinet that many had hoped for. As well as rallying her own team, Liz Truss has been on the phone to some of the VIPs from around the world, including President Biden. But it was President Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, who had the first phone call, a strong indication from Liz Truss of just how committed she is to continuing to support Ukraine. As for the UK and the Brits here who are really struggling, she has indicated her top priorities, cutting back the taxes and addressing the energy crisis, but it will not come cheap. The current plan that is on the table to uh, cap energy prices could cost in the ballpark of 200 billion New Zealand dollars. And there are growing concerns about what more borrowing will mean for this country. Funding this scheme on top of the recent COVID subsidies could likely see the amount of debt this country owes surpass the value of its economy. Europe correspondent Lee said Raymer, Tinakwe.